This is Tax Village, home of the Pupanunu people. They're wonderful and really friendly. Too bad most everyone's been turned into a sheep. Hopefully we can help them. Hey, Home Slices. Welcome back to Attack of the Mao Juju. In the last part, we completed the training and learned our mission. Locked back into one human. Now we're going to continue on. Click the tutorial. Go here for we'll say. You've already done the tutorial. You don't need to do that again. <laughs> Why? Okay, Tack. We need to collect the magical plant so Jabulba can turn Lock back into human form. But first, we need to go to the burial grounds to get the staff. I know the way. Follow me. And this is Jabulba's hut right here. Back. Tack, I can't be bothered now. Come back when you have the warrior's staff and the plants. Yeah. Collect a few things. These are some of the sheep. And there are some moves that the game actually has in its coding but does not tell you about. Them. Like if you press and hold L, then jump, you can do the somersault. It's actually pretty cool, and I do like it. And I do wish it told you about it because it's actually pretty cool. Not really so much platform as so much as it movie in general. Anyway, look at this. Warning, do not break open crate. Not monkey. I'll have to remember that. Now if you want to get to the burial grounds entrance really quick, you can just jump down the swell and you'll be there. As for now, I'm taking the long way. Ways to the burial grounds. There's for later, we cannot go that way yet. I'll show it later. And I'm just gonna ignore a lot of these because you're not really worth fighting. And here we go. This bucket will take us to burial ground. Oh yeah, objective completed. There are objectives. If you press the Z button and then press the D-pad any direction, then yeah, you can find basically an objectives list and stuff. No, anyway, let's go. This is the burial grounds. All of your ancestors are buried here. Many of them great Pupununu people. Everyone here is watched over by the great warrior king. It's his tomb we have to enter to get the staff. I have to say, this is a really cool area. You would a lot. I really like the music too. I'll let you listen to it in a bit once we get out here. I see the statues Jabulba was talking about. We should go over there. And real quick, if you're worried that Flora is becoming gonna be just like Abby, no, don't worry. She's not gonna stick around all that long. She'll be there to point stuff out, but she's not gonna stick around like the whole game. Like she just talks and stuff. Really not bad. Even then, I don't hate Navi or me. So, whatever. Anyway, right here is a ram. Now, here's a trick you can exploit with this ram in particular. Set a melon down, like, around here. Oh. And, like... Say... So you can lure him over here, this way. And then we'll come over this way. And if you the tree, he'll just stay here infinitely. So you don't have to worry about him at all. So, yeah. Whoa, check it out, Tack! I see one of the teeth! Let's go get it! Yep. These are, this is when your bulb was talking about put the teeth in the statues. This way was great. Cha ching! Woo! Nice job! You got the tooth! Now take it to one of the statues. Hey, Tag, look! When we get all four teeth, I think we'll get access to the tomb. Yeah, so we gotta get them all. Now, I just want to point out in that animation of Tag collecting the tooth, 
when he like puts it in like I assume to be his backpack or whatnot, it always I always thought as a kid that he was throwing the item like into the air or something like just the and the way he puts it in and the sound effect he makes like that no terrible sound effect whatever I, it just always seemed like that like I, I know it's ridiculous and yeah me young me was I was stupid and all that but no just listen to it real close and watch it real closely then when I grab this too. Look the animation real closely and see if you can see why I thought it. I don't know. Rock on! Woo! I don't know. It's just the sound effect in the wind, I guess. Whatever. Let let let, let you listen to the music here for a second. Yeah, I really like this song. To be perfectly honest, this is actually in my one of my most underrated soundtracks ever. Because this game surprisingly has a really good soundtrack. That's like got so many great songs in it. Like some of them, all, which I'll point out a lot later. The best songs coming to play later. But there's one that's actually pretty soon. So yeah, I really, I really love it. That was really glad. Hope needs to get more attention because it's really good. We got another tooth, and now we can put in another statue. Pack of dentists all of a sudden. You know these aren't real teeth, and I know those are statues, but I mean, he knows, well, he knows, like, where everything goes. I, I, <laughs> I don't know. I guess anything goes in this world. It is pretty much like, you know, like, Versus cavemen or whatnot. Somewhat of an advanced civilization in that it's all this magic stuff and all these jujus are basically like gods. I sometimes refer to the moon juju goddess, so eh. I don't know. Okay, there's no qualification needed because you just put the tooth where there's not another tooth. I don't really even know where I'm going in my discussion. I'm gonna change the subject and say... I don't know. <laughs> Move on. The next two. This is just the last two in the game. I don't to be any more golden team ever, so... Let's die. Check it! Woo! Yeah. Jack will also never take a fall. You, you've seen this animation right here. That is not damage. Not damage, but I'm glad there's no fall damage in this game. Kinda get hurt. Whatever. Tack's an awesome guy, and I really like him as a character and a protagonist and how he grows throughout the game. And we'll see that a little bit later. But for now, we've opened the Warrior King's tomb. And now, let's see if we can get that staff from him. And I gotta say, this is one of my favorite cutscenes in the game. Throat, they feel like little rocks. 
So, you're the great warrior of the Pupanunu people's prophecy, mm-hmm. Come to pick up the staff of your ancestors? Well, you don't look so great to me. Me? Oh, I'm not the great warrior. That's Locke's job. I'm just here to take the staff to Jaboba. The prophecy says only the great warrior can have the staff. If you can take the staff from me, mm -hmm, you are meant to have it. Whoa. Oh, man. That's my fighting arm. What a drag. Yeah. Take the staff, great warrior. Use it wisely and often. And don't ever touch me again. Yes, you did it, Tack. This is a powerful weapon. I bet those awful nurbles don't stand a chance now. Hey, you know what? I bet you can also use this thing to pole vault yourself up onto higher ledges. This could come in handy. Tack, do you remember the plants Jaboba talked about? We should find them. Maybe you should try using your new staff to get up to that door. So yeah, now we have the staff, and we can pole vault with it. The game doesn't tell you they can still normal jump by pressing holding L, then just jump. But whatever, we, when we attack, we can do this combo now, which is actually quite effective. It's a lot, and you can defeat Nervals in only three hits now, as opposed to a whole bunch of the club. And when you jump in the air, you can do this twirl thing, it's kind of like it's out of Super Star Wars the game. Or I don't know, one of the new Star Wars movies did they do that? I don't quite remember. I mean, I don't remember the prequels as well as I do the originals, because obvious reasons, but you know, regardless. Nice. Whatever, we'll just collect these things. And I gotta say, I love the one-liner. Act just spurts when he's like fighting. Oh yeah, boom shakalaka. Oh yeah, who's the man? Stuff like that. It's pretty funny. And anytime you want to switch back to your club, just press R and you'll switch. And doesn't tell you this until a little bit later. I think it's worth doing now. That looks like one of those plants that Jaboba wants. Well, all right then. Let's just go get it. Shouldn't be that hard. Warning. What is Why is this a warning? It's just it's just there. Let's just take it. Oh that's not Yep. There are mini bosses. So yeah. Not that hard though. Whenever they taunt you like that, just go up and hit them. And then jump over this thing. I'll get hit by that once just as how hilarious of this really funny and I love that. I recommend having your club actually because this is a your time to get hit by an attack. <laughs> Goes in this funny slow-mo. I had that in some if I'm sick and twist it in the head. Now that you've defeated the plant, you can get the small plant from his mouth. It's it's the one we need to take to Jabola, that's what she was going to say, I didn't mean to collect it. Basically, after you defeat it, just go up to its mouth and you'll collect a small plant, which is what you need to take to Jabola. So yeah, those are magical Nubu plants. So let's get on collecting the rest of them. But yeah, this thing, the staff is pretty cool. I really do like it. Area a little bit, it's a little bit for later. We'll come back to it a little later. For now, let's go this way, and I'll show a few other things. The second magical new plan is this way. Here is a warp shrine. This will basically warp you to any other warp shrine in out there. However, warp shrine that can warp you to any warp uh, shrine you've ever found. However, when you find a warp shrine as of now that's not in Tax Village, you can only warp back to Tax Village, and from there you can warp to wherever you want. Kind of annoying, but whatever. Staff, because it's awesome. And, alright. Let's challenge the plant. 
And I like the effectiveness of how the first fan only activates when you get like this close to it. And I didn't mean to get hit there. But the others just activate when you get in range of it. I, I like that. That's actually pretty effective. But... These aren't that hard. If you're recording the game, it's only a little more tedious to fight these guys. It gets repetitive after a while, but at least some of them a little bit different. Harder, so it's not like the same thing like all that many times. And I gotta say, the music you find them is pretty cool. Next plant, and it's done. And now we take this thing. It's a zip. It's like a zip line. Knows what you would expect, like a zip line. And it's fun. I love zip lines. All right, there we've got one more. Um, uh, magical new plants I guess. Yeah, one complaint I do have about this game is I feel like the enemies attack too fast and you can't really react to it in time. By the time you kind of react to it, they already take the hit. Like, these Nidfall Nervals move really fast, so... Eh, whatever. And I guess the trick you can use here is just get this monkey to pick off the Nervals. They have to go off like a spin. But I don't really feel like I need to do that. I can take them on on my own. Great job. I can totally take them on my own. Whatever, if you fall down a pit or anything like that, you'll respawn. And hey, gold feather. Oh, wow, two of them. That's not too common, actually. I think gold feathers get increasing. Go along. I remember a lot of them early on, and I really don't remember that many later on. But that's fine, because you'll be able to recover health a lot easier in the late. So, makes sense. But whatever. Hard. One by one. My idea, my my question is, if these things are really useful for, then why don't they map? Realize they're dangerous, so can't they like put cages or tie them up or something? Whatever. Check it. Okay, that's all the plants here. We should try somewhere else now. So yeah, we're pretty much done with burial ground for now. We've done pretty much everything we can. Now we have all of the objectives completed. So yeah, next thing we can do is just go to a new area. So yeah, let's do that. Let me just grab this feather. And alright, now we're going to come this way. This will put us back in the main area where we came in. Now, I just like to say this. I did not know about the toggle weapon feature when I was young, so I like jumped onto this spiderweb trampoline thing and just switched me back to the club. And I thought I really had to just, like, even know about the toggle weapon feature, because you're gonna need the staff to make a jump, like, pretty soon. So, yeah, that's just something I like to point out. I wasn't too good as a child, but I could still play the game. And this wasn't too great at it. Okay, that's it for the burial ground for now. And yeah. Thing. And I'll see you guys next time on Attacking the Power Juju Let's Play. Adios, home slices.